Hello, everyone. I hope uh, you have enjoyed uh, this meeting in, in Vegas, and I'm really sorry not to be there uh, with you guys. I'd like to thank uh, Sages and the HPB Task Force uh, for the invitation. And when initially we thought about the session, uh, we believe that uh, talking about uh, real clinical cases would be very interesting. But as I'm uh, speaking from far, and this is a recorded presentation, I'm not going to be able to, to moderate this and, uh, and to make this as an interactive session. So I hope uh, the panelists and moderators can do this uh, instead of me. I, prepare, uh, I prepared uh, five clinical cases and feel free just to stop uh, whenever uh, you feel it's enough. So the first case uh, involves a 63-year-old man with no relevant past medical history, a local advanced pancreatic ductal adrenal carcinoma in the body of the pancreas so that was diagnosed because of an infiltration of the celiac trunk and portal mesenteric venous confluence. Uh, the patient has dilation of the main pancreatic duct, and we'll see that at the CT scan. Uh, he's BRCA negative, undergoes uh, 12 cycles of uh, fulfurinox uh, in six months. Uh, uh, he actually well tolerated the chemo until the last cycle where he had a neutropenia G3. The markers before chemotherapy uh, were slightly altered with a C199 of 259, but after a third cycle, the CA199 already normalized to 34. I'm going to show you now the restaging CT scan where we have a partial response to chemotherapy. We had a good response biologically because of the tumor markers, uh, but there is no change in the vascular involvement. Uh, as you can see here in the arterial phase, we have already an involvement here of the uh, celiac trunk, the splenic artery, and the common hepatic artery, and also the left gastric, as you could see. And moving on, this is the, uh, the tumor here that's retrodilating uh, the main pancreatic duct. Important to see the medial aspect of the tumor, which runs not too far also from the, the GDA here. And this could be a problem if we're thinking about a certain type of surgery. No metastasis, uh, uh, no involvement of the superior mesenteric artery, as you can see here. And if we move at the venous phase, uh, you can see that we're going to have uh, an infiltration of the venous confluence here, right here from the tumor uh, within the, between the splenic vein, the mesenteric vein, right at the confluence, but below we have a, a nice superior mesenteric vein. Definitely the compression is causing some uh, uh, hypertension of the veins here as they're dilated. So what are the options now? Is this a surgical patient or not? Will we perform radiotherapy before surgery? And if we go into surgery, what vascular resection are we going to perform? What type of surgery and what type of vascular reconstruction? Alternatively, if we don't go for surgery, would we go for radiation therapy and then follow up? I'll leave it to you guys in the discussion. Second case is a 70 year old female with a, just a past medical history of uh, high blood pressure. She was hospitalized for jaundice that was treated with uh, uh, EUS and biliary stenting, uh, underwent a biopsy that found uh, a pancreatic cancer of the pancreatic head. You see the CT scan. We have a resectable pancreatic cancer with a retrodilation of the main pancreatic duct up to nine millimeters. And we have a CA-99, though, that's elevated, 821. But a CA that's normal. And these were done after uh, biliary stasis was resolved. Look at the CT scan. You can see the arterial phase. These are just, uh, these are not metastasis. You can see here the dilation of the pancreatic duct that stops where the lesion is, which is pretty small, right here. Uh, superior mesenteric artery is far, it's absolutely free. Common hepatic artery is absolutely far from the tumor. No metastasis that are apparent, no free fluid. Then we go to the venous phase, we follow the portal vein, 
And you can see that it's absolutely far from the lesion, no infiltration, even below. So in this case, a resectable pancreatic cancer with a large duct. in a healthy woman. So what would you guys do now? Who would go for upfront surgery and who would opt for new adjuvant chemotherapy? And if you're going for a new adjuvant, would you choose a specific regimen in this patient? I'll let you guys discuss. So I'll move on to case uh, three. This is a, a case of a six-year-old man with a BMI of 28, uh, no really important past medical history. Um, starts out with jaundice. So the CT shows a solid lesion of 25 millimeters in the pancreatic head. It's a small lesion. There's no involvement of the vascular structures and no dilation, though, of the main pancreatic duct. Undergoes the RCP with stent placement. The biopsy proves an adrenal carcinoma. Uh, tumor markers uh, are a little bit elevated, 105 CA199, CA is five. So a young, uh, young man with a small tumor in the pancreatic head, arterial phase, uh, no involvement of the celiac trunk and the common hepatic artery. SMA is perfect, not involved, far from the tumor. We already have the biliary stent, which is plastic in this case, but what you can really notice here is a distal pancreas, a lot of fatty infiltration, no dilation of the pancreatic duct, and this may influence our choices here. No metastasis, no free fluid, patient uh, is a bit overweight. Uh, looking at the venous phase, you can see that the portal vein and the, the, the venous side is absolutely free and far from the tumor. So resectable cancer, small cancer. What would you guys do now? Uh, again, similar to the previous case, but here we have no uh, alteration of the tumor markers, and, but we do have a, a tough pancreas because uh, it looks like it would be a soft pancreas with no dilation of the duct. What would you guys do now? Upfront surgery, would you go and then followed by eventually adjuvant chemo or new adjuvant chemotherapy? I'll let you guys discuss. Case four, 68 year old female with a past medical history of uh, COPD. She was a heavy smoker. Um, she has a diagnosis of borderline resectable pancreatic cancer of the head of the pancreas with a retrodilation of the main pancreatic duct. She has a vascular involvement of both the superior mesenteric artery and vein. A diagnosis, so we have uh, a CA99 that's uh, around 1400, but with, uh, an, uh, with some cholestasis with Bill Rubin that is elevated. She undergoes uh, new adjuvant chemotherapy with fulfirinox, 12 cycles uh, in six months that are well tolerated. At restaging CT scan, you do see a response of the treatment uh, with uh, downsizing of the tumor, reduction also in parapancreatic lymph node size, and the tumor marker normalizes. Let's look at the CT scan. Definitely the arterial phase is, uh, is very interesting. You can see how the celiac trunk and the uh, hepatic artery are absolutely far from the lesion. There's a dilation of the main pancreatic duct, and here is uh, uh, the tumor. What is really important is the aspect of the superior mesenteric artery that appears uh, infiltrated on uh, the right side uh, for, 80, uh, for 90, 180 degrees. Uh, the contour of the, of the artery is not altered, though. If we move on though, we can see that the first jejunal branch is definitely involved uh, by, uh, by the tumor. And if we move on, you can see that below when moves into the mesentery, the artery is free. It's a small superior mesenteric artery here. And you can see again, the involvement of the tumor here for that is pretty lengthy on the superior mesenteric artery, but the origin is absolutely free and far for, from the tumor. Looking at the venous phase, uh, moving on, you can see that we have the uh, a little bit of uh, an impingement here of the of the vein exactly right here uh, but if we move uh, down we can see that the vein opens up nicely
So what would you guys do now? Uh, is this a patient uh, candidate for surgery? Would you start off with radiotherapy followed by surgery? And if surgery, when you go in, what type of vascular resection would you perform? Would it be both uh, a venous uh, resection and uh, an arterial resection, or you try to uh, divest uh, the, the artery? I'll leave you guys to the discussion. Finally, last case, talking about an 84 year old male with a past medical history of uh, treated atrial fibrillation, arterial hypertension, and acute myocardial infarction, and previous prostate cancer, surgical treat. Has jaundice with a total bilirubin that goes up to 30 milligrams deciliters, treated by biliary stent, and EUS proves a resectable pancreatic cancer with no vascular involvement, slight dilation of the main pancreatic duct, two more markers, are elevated 350 to CA99. This is an old man with uh, uh, significant comorbidities. I'm going to show you the CT scan once again. Dilation of the, uh, of the bile ducts, and we follow it, and the tumor is, uh, is pretty small as right here. Could be a, a biliary tumor, but ends up at the biopsy being a pancreatic cancer accordingly. No involvement of the superior mesenteric artery and no involvement of the venous confluence or portal vein here. No free fluid, no metastasis. So this is an old male, an old man with um, resectable pancreatic cancer, but an elevated uh, um, CA-199. Would you go for upfront surgery? Is there room at this age for new adjuvant chemotherapy? If yes, what type of, uh, of treatment? Thank you all very much for, for listening and I'll leave you to the discussion and I hope uh, this was helpful. Enjoy the rest of the meeting.